35. About here on 395, we're gonna go up Highway 50 around the lake and then back on Kingsbury, back that way. So it's supposed to be a hot day, should be a good one. Looking forward to that. 35 let's do it all right here's the new highway again way up there i'm gonna get this right this time there's that trail on the left there and here you can see the crosswalk you gotta take the first crosswalk is what i was talking about last time which is kind of awkward but that's the way it is So you gotta cross here, then you're gonna have to cross over there. If they would have put it over there, you'd only have to cross once. All right, new path. So going up that way, it's gonna cross right here. I used to uh, go over there to that crosswalk over there and cross right there, but now there's all this highway, new highway traffic. So it's a good thing they built that path. go up to the lake So yeah guys, I made that skid mark on my motorcycle about a week and a half ago. Uh, I was coming home from work and in that area the speed limit is 55 miles an hour. I was only going about 58 and I had a lot of distance between the car in front of me and me. And uh, you know the car in front of me started to break and I didn't think much of it because usually I can just engine brake and then people will speed back up or whatever and I don't have to actually hit the brakes. But, <laughs> turns out they were making a complete stop. So, I basically slammed on the brakes and I don't know if you know how a motorcycle works or not, but if you've got the front brake on the right and your clutch lever on the left and the rear brake is your right foot. So, what happened was, you know, there are some things that translate from a bike and some things that don't. So, I knew not to brake too hard <laughs> with the front because you'll just go over the front wheel, do an endo. I knew that from my bike experience. So I braked, you know, pretty hard, but not as hard as I could on the front. And, uh, you know, I wasn't stopping as well as I thought I should. <laughs> and then, started to get wobbly so oh shit and then you know i let off the brakes straighten up and then started pumping my brakes and luckily i was able to stop in time and doing that um otherwise i was gonna i had room on the shoulder i was gonna bail out on the shoulder but nevertheless scary moment <laughs> and uh yeah what happened was like i said i was braking hard but not as hard as i could on the front but I think what I did was I probably stomped as hard as I could on the rear brake and so my rear brake locked up and I started a fishtail. But the good news is you'd rather do that on the rear than on the front because you can 
you can much easier same as on a bike if you slip out on the rear most of the times you can recover from that but if you do that on the front <laughs> it's bad news so yeah we got home checked everything out sure enough there's a little bald spot on my rear tire nothing on the front so that's what happened oh i forgot to mention you know why the car was stopped because there was a cow in the middle of the road anyway that's it for another week week 35 uh, it was a pretty good week to be out at the lake man the kids around here are back in school and uh a lot of hippies are out of burning man so there wasn't too much traffic out there awesome nice and warm today felt good a little bit windy but not too bad so it's a good week next week should be another one we'll see you next week oh yeah and this week in the fridge i've got some pears man nice and cold just waiting for me they're nice and ripe too i had some last night they're perfect can't wait